Hey good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Here's a short lesson on how to clean up string crossing. It's a simple technique I call stop and rock. And you can warm up, warm up by just placing the bow on the strings, on the D string, and just practice rocking it from D to A. Don't even make a sound. And then you can practice going from G to E. Notice how that feels and notice the angle difference. Now go back D to A and notice that's a smaller angle. So we're just training our hand here and arm. Okay, so now we'll do the actual stop and rock exercise. We're basically going to go from D to A. I'm going to go quick down bow on D and slowly rock to A. Let me do that again. Slowly rock to A and go up. And slowly rock back to D. Back to A. And that's the whole exercise. It may not sound like much, but it will really help your playing and your precision. Precision is not everything, especially with fiddling. There's a lot of like kind of cool things that happen when you're loose with your playing. But I always try to get people to play as precisely as possible and then be able to let go of that when, as, as they feel, all right? And so what a lot of students do is they, don't, they hurry through the rock. They don't actually do it. The, the key to it is do a, a quick, you know, or just normal speed bow, but then very slowly rock so you train your arm. And then after you do it for a while, you let go of that pause and you just play. You do your best to make it precise anyway. And then go back to stop and rock. So you may be wondering if you've already played and you're kind of looking at this, oh, this is so simple. Is this just an exercise for beginners? Good question. No, like a lot of rudimentary exercises, you can return to stop and rock throughout your career as a fiddler. Most advanced players can integrate fingering into this. So say you're doing like, um, kind of an Irish sounding string crossing thing, you could just do it there. Lastly, I'll just say that in addition to um, making your sound more precise, I want you to try to enjoy the feeling of the movement. And, and this can carry over to a lot of other things you do, to enjoy the physicality of it. Just enjoy like doing this in a comfortable, relaxed manner. In addition to that, you can enjoy having a good sound. That's kind of its good sound is its own reward, I like to say. And your awareness of this will help your body move and it'll it'll just help you. Anyway, that's it. Stop and rock. A way to clean up your string crossing. Hope that's helpful. Um, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching Fiddlehead and we'll see you next time. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs play along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.